Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to install and use the CAS plugin by DT's Exporter in Blender, along with RSX, a tool to extract game assets from Apex Legends. If you're new to this, don't worry, I'll walk you through every step from installing the plugin to extracting and importing assets into Blender. I'll also briefly mention Apex Toolbox, a tool I've covered in a previous tutorial. First, let's start by installing the CAS plugin for Blender. Head over to DTZ Exporter's website or GitHub repository and download the CAS plugin file. I'll include a link in the description below. Once downloaded, open Blender. Go to the top left corner and click on Edit, then select Preferences. In the Preferences window, navigate to Add-ons on the left-hand side. Click on Install in the top right corner and locate the CAS plugin file you just downloaded. Once installed, make sure to check the box next to the plugin name to enable it. And that's it. You've now installed the CAS plugin in Blender. Next, we'll cover how to extract assets from Apex Legends using RSX. Now, let's move on to RSX, a tool used to extract assets from Apex Legends game files. Download the RSX tool from its official GitHub page link in the description below. Once downloaded, open the RSX application. To lower the waiting times of loading the files, you can increase the threads under Edit, Settings. I recommend choosing a high number as you won't need to use this tool for long once you've extracted the items you want. While we're here, feel free to copy my settings in case yours aren't matching. Next, click on Open File or File, Load Pack, then locate the game directory where Apex Legends is installed. From here, head to Apex Legends backslash packs backslash win64. I recommend sorting by size to show the files you need. Hold Control and select common.rpack and root skins.rpack and then select Open. Once the files are loaded, you can navigate through the different assets. On the left, you can see Type. A rig is Animation Collections, a sec is animation sequences. For example, a specific animation. MATL are materials. And MDL are models. To extract a specific item, select it and then press Export, Export Selected. To export multiple items, hold Control and select each one and do the same. For this example, I'll export a Wraith model and animations. To move around in the viewport, right-click inside of it and move around with WASD. Hold Control to move faster, Shift to go down, and Space to move up. RSX will export the assets where the application is installed, so keep it somewhere safe. Now that we've extracted the assets, it's time to import them into Blender using the Cast plugin. In Blender, with the Cast plugin enabled, go to File, Import, and select Cast. Navigate to the folder where RSX extracted the assets too. Make sure to select the LOD0 model as that has the most quality. Choose the model file you want to import and click Import. Blender will load the model into your scene and you can start editing, texturing, or animating it. To apply an animation from the exported files, first select the bones of your model. Then go to File, Import, and choose Cast. Navigate to your exported files folder and open the Anim Rig directory. From there, select an animation you want to apply. For example, you can type GLAD in the search bar to find banner frame poses or search for menu to access lobby poses. Pick the one that fits your needs and it will be applied to your model. Before we wrap up, I also want to mention the Apex Toolbox plugin. It's another useful tool for working with Apex Legends assets. I've covered this in detail in a previous tutorial, so be sure to check that out if you want more advanced options like auto texturing, setting the model to the correct size, and many more. And there you have it. You've now learned how to extract game assets from Apex Legends using RSX and import them into Blender using the Cast plugin. I hope this tutorial was helpful, especially for beginners. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my other tutorials. See you next time!